I have given myself 24 hours to try my best at 100%ing the entirety of Natlan. That means every world quest, every main story quest like Archon Quest, all of these tribal chronicles, using the interactive map to collect every single chest and challenge and oculi and everything. We are fully 100%ing Natlan today and we're trying to do it in 24 hours. Now, obviously we aren't fully starting from scratch. We do have a little bit of exploration in some areas with this springs having 44% already, but that is just because obviously Natlan's already been out for an update. So I've done a couple little things like this world quest here. We've done that one and we've also done this world quest underneath there. And I've started this one over here. That's all I've done though, so there's a little bit of exploration done, but let's get stuck into this. We're going to start down here on this quest. And now as for why we're doing this giant big video in one go, well, I feel like that answer should be pretty self-explanatory. We have a Shalon in here who I very much want and I do not have the pools for. Also, there's this thing and we need to do exploration for this anyway. And now we get the talking cat that somehow always ends up in Genshin quests. Almost every single region we get, there's at least some part where we have to talk to a cat. Are we done? Was that it? Okay, apparently so. I didn't think that would be it already, but okay, awesome. Well, seeing as we are in this area, let's deal with this bit. I have done already a little bit of it from the start of this quest, but let's finish off the stuff in here. And then I'm going to work through some more quests. Aha, I did a little thing. I kind of just decided to do this as I was recording. If you now look up the top, it looks okay, a little bit janky, but it works, I guess. You can now see my interactive map. So now I can show you. We have collected all of the chests down in this area there are all done. And over here, I've done those ones. And now we've done all of the underground ones over here. Oh, yay. We get to do one of these. This is the tribal challenge things, whatever they're called. I actually really like these. I feel like they should do them more. I'm going to start down over here in the, whatchamacallit, springs. I'm going to do down here first just because there's less quests. I do need to clarify something. We're not doing this in 24 hours as in one day. This is 24 hours as in total time. That being said, I could probably change that number to 12. Although, I'm still calling this video 24 hours because that's a better title. And we are now one hour into the farming now for whatever reason this quest i guess you could call it whatever this thing is where we're talking to our packers yeah it doesn't show up on the interactive map it gives you 20 primos what do you mean why does this not show up on the interactive map i've gotten to the point of farming where i'm like almost an hour and a half in and i'm not even thinking about what i'm doing anymore i'm just kind of mindlessly pressing buttons and somehow not pressing the wrong buttons. Ooh, hey, look at that. We can craft up this, which is the People of the Springs thingy so we can get into the tribal chamber. I don't know what it's called. Now, I know in here there is a annoying boss. So, I'm gonna whip out the Hyper Bloom team. And uh, let's give this a shot, shall we? Never mind. I was going to say he is only level 93, so it shouldn't be that bad. But um, yeah, no, apparently it is going to be that bad. Well, Nahida died right at the start. But there we go. Power of Farina. We get that done. We actually get this now as well. I forgot about that. We now have 45% Natland exploration, which means we get 100 primos. We are also currently sitting at 131 of those, so we should get quite a few primos from that. However, I do know that they've already put a limit on it. Like, they've capped the amount you can do because obviously I have 100% of Natlin on my main account. And I still have like 150 or 200 or something of those pyro sigils just sitting around because they won't let me put it into the tablet of Toner or whatever it's called. Uh, and now we are up to... No, I almost said four. 
thankfully not four, two hours of quests, not quests, exploring. I find it really funny because I used to like really hate farming, like going around and collecting chests and stuff and exploring. I used to find it so boring, but now I've sort of got a bit of a, a routine with it and it's actually really fun now. I enjoy it. It's very relaxing. Just going around, farming chests. I, I do actually quite enjoy it. Which is good because it gets me primos, which means I can get more characters, which I also enjoy. Well, those two things you can see on the interactive map, this challenge and that, uh, whatchamacallit, they are the only things left. We're currently sitting at 87% because that Shrine of Depth gives you a ton of XP or completionist, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. Uh, we are going to do this first, run over here and use that ring thingy to grab a bunch of artifacts. I'm pretty sure this also counts towards exploration as well. Yeah, that went out to 93%. Awesome. So let's go chuck the things we currently have into this statue, the oculi. We currently have 21. That's going to get us probably one level. Indeed, that is one level, I think. Which means we still don't have a Shrine of Depth key. However, we now have 164 of those. So... We should be able to get a Shrine of Depth key from the Tablet of Toner. Also, we are now up to 744 Primo Gems, which is pretty decent, I'd say. That should be 100% now. Yep, indeed. Although the 100% is never fully 100% because we have one more little thing to do over here, and then it is fully 100%ed. And there we go. Just like that, there is the first of three kind of four areas fully explored. There is still this, which I'm going to do. I'll deal with these tribal chronicles at the end. So like I'll do all the exploring and then I'll deal with the tribal chronicles right at the end because they don't have any locking, any quests or chests behind them, I don't think. This is going to be the one chest that I will not be able to do because I do not have the time for it. Because it is locked behind actual days and I'm pretty sure it's about three to four, maybe five days. So we're just going to talk to this guy now and then we'll just keep coming back here every day. And if we get it done before this video finishes, cool. If not, well, I'll just keep coming back until we eventually get the luxurious chest that's in here. I will see you all tomorrow. And we will get this mountain part 100%ed, maybe the valley 100%ed, try to get all of this done. If I feel like keep going, we can do the whole part. Who knows? We'll see. We'll deal with it later. Okay, well, I will see you all tomorrow. We are back for day two of bunch farming, basically. Okay, there is... All of this underground stuff done, and we've done all the stuff over here at the signs of the canopy. Now we get to work with all of the very large amount of chests and all that kind of stuff in this area. And I'll probably just keep going up till like here, and then I'll jump over and start doing the Children's of Echo stuff from there, I guess. I've also realized that we're about an hour into a recording today. And I haven't said a single thing the whole time. I just kind of zoned out and I've just been collecting chests. I am going to head down to this island here now because why not? I've got to the point where I don't really know where I'm going. I'm sort of just seeing a chest on the interactive app and going over there. Which, I mean, it works. I normally try to keep a little bit of a, you know, a path, a route to follow so I can... You know, make it a little bit quicker. But yeah, that's not really happening at the moment. Uh, hello? You good there? There we go. Just decide to hover on water, I guess. Sure. Okay, that's majority of the stuff above ground done, I think. There's a bit more over here. But I'm trying to focus on this area. So, let's go underground then i guess also we are now up to 64 percent exploration so another 100 primo gems and we are now 
two hours into today's farming and you know how yesterday how i said i was enjoying farming it was relaxing uh not anymore i am now not enjoying farming even in the slightest the only bit i'm enjoying about it is the uh the fact that we're getting primos from it speaking of which we are now up to over a 10 pool 1800 primos that's something i guess I'll take it. Okay. That's a pretty good amount of exploration done. We do have a Shrine of Depth we need to go to soon. Or we are going to be near soon. So let's see if we can grab another level. Should do. Yes. Awesome. This should give us a Shrine of Depth key. And then I think we just have a little bit more underground stuff and we're done. I don't really know. We have a little bit, I think. Well, there we go. That is this quest now done. We can now craft up that one. So let's go to the hidden thing. Now, this should get us to 100% if I'm not wrong. Did that do it? Indeed, that did. Okay. Well, over on the interactive map, we have this area there, which we still haven't done. So I'll go there. And then I'm assuming that that is everything else in the mountains which means we are now on to the valley and i'm going to start by doing the quest that's over here somewhere yeah no i've done quite a bit of looking around and i don't think we've gotten any more of these things so i think the only way that we can actually get this finished is this chest there unless there's something else but i don't think there is well, we have also done this, which has now given us 80% exploration of Natlan. Now all that's left is this quest, which is the one that I'm going to start doing now. Because now we have both the springs, both the springs and the mountain all 100%ed, which is lovely. Then we just have to do this valley, which is already at 62%, which isn't bad. But if you have a look at our interactive map... There's a pretty solid line of just stuff we've got to do there. So, yeah, it might take a minute. But then we that's 62 and then the other one's at 38. So I need to do a lot more exploration over there. But it is a smaller area, I think. Actually, it might not be. But there's it's less dense with chests. So it should be relatively easy, hopefully. We are now at three hours today of quests. So that took us a little bit longer to do this area. Five and a half hours total, I think. I think I did about an hour, two and a half hours yesterday. This is a great camera angle game. I can see so much of what's going on right now. Oh no, oh no, bad. Don't, uh uh, mm mm, mm mm, no. Mm mm, thank you. That was too close. She just made that dude's hand look like a banana. See, look, a little, little stem there. It's got the banana curve to it. I know why that is the first thing I thought of when I saw that, but yeah, sure, it works, I guess. And now we get a potato being cute. Look at this little, little run. It just said there's a perilous battle. Uh, that means I should probably bring in a team that actually does damage. Now we descend down the stairs into the lava. I, I don't think you'd even call this a, these stairs. More like a... I mean, they have a step, so I guess you could call them stairs. More of a ramp. But now we descend into the coolest thing. Like this... You, I wouldn't expect this out of Genshin. Like, you look up there. Like, that looks sick. This looks like something out of, like, a cutscene. But this is fully permanent in the game, which I really, really like. They haven't made this just quest... Like, locked behind just doing this quest. You can come here whenever you want. This bit, however, is fully quest locked. You can't come here anytime you want. You're on, you can only come here during the quest. But the next bit we go to, that bit is fully accessible to enter whenever you feel like. Wait, there's the rift. Ooh, yeah, I'm glad I brought my Hyper Bloom team in here. Because, ooh, this would have been bad with my normal team. Or, not normal team. Whatever kind of scuffed thing I had going on before. And now we enter the bit that is fully permanent. You can come here whenever you want. And the bit that I love the look of. 
And there we go. Big quest line. I think this is the biggest quest line in Natland is done. Now we can grab lots of lovely chests and get out of here. Also, we can craft up this now, which is good. I will deal with that in a second. That also means we can grab the last one of those. So now this event is done, which is lovely. Now the only thing left here, we've already finished that one. The only thing left is the Archon quest and Shilonan's story quest. Okay, well, now we have a good chunk of that stuff done. Uh, we go start working on 100%ing the valley now. Okay, and there is another hour added to the tally. So we are now up to, what, seven and a half? Six and a half hours, I think? Yeah, six and a half hours. So we're definitely, we're definitely racking up the time, that's for sure. God, my brain isn't working whatsoever. I just looked at the interactive map to see where I was instead of my mini-map. And then instead of looking at the game's mini-map, I then looked at OBS, where the interactive map is covering my mini-map. Primo gem total is up to 2800. Love to see it. I keep pressing that book because it's got the exclamation mark, but it's just because I haven't claimed my rewards yet. We are now at 94% exploration, and I'm pretty sure I could hit 100% if I just jump over here and throw this thingy into the secret room over here. There is obviously still a little bit of chests and stuff left, but I can, in the game, hit 100%. Okay, not quite. 99%. Very, very close. So we should only need like one or two more chests or oculi or something. There we go. Two more chests and we are at 100%. Lovely. Now I'm just going to go finish off all the other stuff here. Okay, so I think the edge of the valley is like right here. There we go. So right about there is the, is the line. So we have collected everything in the valley. So let's jump down here and get started on 100%ing the next area. Well, while we are here, I've collected all of the chests in the stadium. I'm pretty sure, yes. The only thing left in the stadium that I need to do is the quest over here. But we'll get around to that. But while we are here, let's go dump the last couple things we can do into here because we have 358 they are not going to let us put all 358 into this tablet they will only let us put oh wait okay never mind they will which means we can get a lot of pools oh my goodness there's a lot of pools coming in now now i'm pretty sure this is where they're going to stop us i don't think we can go past level 20 550 pulls from that, bringing our total now up to 3,500, which is two 10 pulls and a bit. So we're slowly getting there. Now we go do this quest, which is annoyingly kind of long. Now I have decided I'm going to do a slight change of plans when it comes to what I am doing with all of the quests. I am going to leave the quests that I haven't already done on my main account, so that's Shalonan's uh, story quest and the second half of the main Archon quest or the fourth act or whatever it is I'm going to leave them for a future video when I've already done my main account because I do not have enough time To do them on my main account and then do it again on this account So I'm going to just sort of not deal with them. I will just Do the stuff that I have already done on my main account. So that is the third third act I think of the Natlan Arkham quest and both Kinich and Mulani's story quest or tribal chronicles or whatever they're called. Okay there we go the crafting bench quest is done. I think that's almost all of the quests done. Now we just have the last bit of exploration to do. Okay, we're making pretty good progress at the moment. 64%. We only really have on the interactive map this sort of area here. That's about it. And then we have these chests down here, which double luxurious chests. Very, very nice. And now we can also unlock the last shrine of depth, I'm pretty sure. We do have a key. 
I don't actually know where that key came from, but we do have a key. So, I'm pretty sure that this is the last shrine of depth. Now, that should boost our exploration. Yep, 76% boosted our exploration by quite a bit. Now, here's a question. Have we collected all of the things to get the luxurious chest from this guy? Ooh, we have. Lovely. Don't need to go try to find all of them. Boom, luxurious chest. We are now another hour into recording. And there we go. The basin is now also 100%ed. If you look on the interactive map, you can see that we are only missing a couple chests. We have this luxurious chest down here. I best to show you on the actual map because it's easier. There's this luxurious chest that's here. And then there's this stuff underground, which I'm going to go and check again and see if we can do. Oh, we did actually get enough. We got, don't know where that would have been from, but we got that from somewhere. And with this, this is basically every single chest and puzzle and everything we have in Natlan. All that's left is this one luxurious chest over here. And what we're going to finish today on, the Night Kingdom thingy, whatever the thing is. This thing on the interactive map. Now we get loads and loads of chests. I think this is the only place where you actually get two luxurious chests straight away. Plus all of these other chests. It's crazy the amount of rewards we get from there. Well, aside from this one chest down here, that is every single chest and puzzle and everything all done in Natlan. Took way too long, but it is all done. Now we just have quests left. So I will do these two probably tomorrow because it's kind of late at the moment. So I'll do these two tomorrow. Those are Kinnichas and Moolani's. And then depending on time, I might do the first act of Natlan. And then I'll do Shilonan's one and the second act or the second act of this update, which is the fourth act. I'll do that when we've done it on my main account. 4,000 Primo Gems, which is equivalent to 25 pools. I would have liked a little bit more, but it's not horrible, I guess. Statue of the Seven, we can throw a bunch of Pyroculi into. 35, that should bring us halfway through level 5, I'm pretty sure. So we're only going to go up by one level, because there's an absurd amount of Pyroculi. Yes, halfway through level 5. We also have 5 standard pools. So, let's finish off today with something cool. Like a 5 star, which is super unlikely, but I'd take even a 4 star. There we go. Usable. Ooh, I like that. That's... We, yep, yeah, we like that. That's good. Layla is now C. Ooh, that's very good. Layla is now C6. That just kind of makes her burst do more damage, which... I mean, I guess is works. Why do you not have any artifacts? What is going on? Oh, wait. We also have achievements. And we have quite a few of them. Okay, we are back for the third and final, hopefully, day of... 100%ing Natlan. Today is fully quest day. We're just going to try to get as many quests as we can done. Wait, we already did Act 1. Damn, that was quick. I didn't realize that was already Act 1, but okay. And there is Act 2 done. Now we're just going to make a really quick detour from that quest to go start this one. Because it's in the same area. Well, there's the first part of Kinich's story quest done. We will deal with the rest of that quest at a later point in time. For the moment, let's go do the rest of Mualani's. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Paimon. Perhaps the treasure I had really been searching for had been right here with me all along. Oh, whoa. What a creative storyline. Definitely haven't heard that one before. Almost bang on an hour. We have finished Mualani's story quest, tribal chronicle, whatever you want to call it. 
now we move on to the next thing, which is Hinich's story quest. Okay, that was a lot quicker than I thought. There is that act two done, which means now we get into the actual long bit. This is the Kinich story quest bit, the, you know, the bit where we actually talk to Kinich. And this is a little bit longer. I don't know, just going off the last one, it should take us about 45 minutes or so. And there we go. Kinich's story quest of Tribal Chronicles or whatever the hell it's called. That is done. But now let's get the third act of the Archon quest started. And hopefully we get enough primos to bring her home. I think the uh, voice actor for Sitlali needs a new microphone. Or needs to tune it a bit because there is some weird stuff going on with those S's. Okay, two hours and ten minutes now into today's questing or 100%ing today's part of the video. We're actually making pretty good progress with the main story. I don't exactly remember where it finishes, but I feel like we're getting through it pretty quickly. Oh no, oh wait, never mind. I, I was about to say, oh no, we can't use any of these characters, but uh, for some reason I forget that we're on supports only, not Fontaine only, which means we can use uh, Shalonan. So uh, DPS Shalonan, I guess. Okay, there we go. Now, Act 3 is done. That brings us to Act 4, which, as I said, we're going to do once I've already done up my main account. So, we'll do that, yeah, sometime. We can grab a free pull from that, though. Lovely. So, that is now Natlan fully completed to the best of my abilities, mostly. We have everything 100%ed. We're missing one chest right there. We have done... Every quest except for Shalonan's one, Shalonan's story quest, and the fourth act of the Archon quest. Otherwise, everything is done. Our final Primo Gem total is 4,842, with one intertwined fate, which sits us at 31 pulls. Which, honestly, isn't horrible. It could have been worse. I would have liked a little bit more, but yeah, it's not bad. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you like to have content, do consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and good. Bye.